Say, speak out again. Who is this? Yeah. So, so I was telling you that how do we calculate the amount of work done? So the formula is FS cos theta, and I told you the angle and inclination and how work done increases, how work done decreases, when it is zero, when it is maximum. All these cases were there into our consideration. See this diagram and see this theoretical portion here, which I have mentioned here on this page. So, so there, there are certain cases now. So I did the first case. First of all, the first case is when displacement is in the direction of force. That is theta equal to zero. Cos zero is one. So W is equals to F into S. Work done is said to be positive. Maximum work is being done in this situation. For example, a free fall of a body of mass M under gravity. So whenever, imagine that here. A ball is falling down. A ball is falling down. Pay attention on the on the screen. A ball is falling down, and it's coming like down like this. Tell me, what is pulling it down? Is co cons of force downward pull करता है? Force of gravitational force. Gravitational force. Gravitational force. उसकी direction कौन सी होती है? Always vertically vertically downward. Downward. So vertically vertically downward. 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 So vertical downward. The the body is also falling The The force is also equals to mg is vertically downward. That means force and displacement both are in the same direction, isn't it? Force and displacement in the same direction. That indicates that indicates that the the, the vector of force and the vector of work done, uh, vector of displacement are parallel to each other. Angle between them is zero. So inclination is zero. W equals to F into S cos zero. Basically, formula is always same. Fs cos theta. But cos zero is one. So we don't write cos zero here. We just write F into S. If direction of force and direction of motion are in the same direction or the angle between direction of force and direction of motion is acute note down in the in the book just don't listen to the story write these points if angle between Force and displacement is acute, then work done is positive. Work done is positive. Right, next will be later on, but right now, work done is positive. Fine, fill it here. When, when body is falling freely, force due to gravity. Force due to gravity is doing positive work. Is doing positive work. Force due to gravity is doing positive work. Always understand. So body is falling down. Positive work is being done. Direction of force and direction of motion, all are same. Body is doing positive work done. All right. All right. Second example, example of pulley. Example of pulley. 
a pulley does work on the load when it raises it up and against the force of gravity both the force exerted by the pulley and displacement are in the upward direction the work done by the pulley in the raising load is equals to mgh let me explain you this point let me explain you this point so please look at this think that this person is a pulley for a while or imagine yourself you are sitting and you are you are being picking up the uh, the objects right so this suppose this bucket is there your books are lying on the table you are picking it up you tell me how much is the weight of the book mg everybody has a weight equal to mg the force applied by the gravity if you want to raise the book off the ground you have to apply the 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 force equal to force of gravity acting on the body or equal to weight of the object and she applying the force in the upward direction and as a result of this force applied on the object by you the body is also moving upward body is also moving upward that means angle between the force and motion is zero they are parallel to each other they are parallel to each other your work is being done you do work any time you exert a force on object that causes the object to move in the same direction as the force whenever whenever you apply a force and right on the book somewhere whenever a force is applied a force is applied and it causes it causes displacement in the direction of force a positive work is done by the force a positive work is done by the force so work done is positive understood everyone yes sir yes work done is positive displacement is in the direction of force theta equal to 0 cos theta equals to 1 same thing again repeats come back to pulley the pulley is this this lady is a pulley support this person is a pulley support the pulley is picking the load up the same conditions work is being a force is being applied it causes displacement in the object in the direction of the force work is being done all right all right is that clear to you so second point says that the pulley does work when he raises it up against the force of gravity both the force exerted by pulley and displacement are in the upward direction the work done by the pulley in raising the load is mgh the third case if i ask you the question that all low body is showing displacement even then there is no work done what would you do what would it be the example as body is showing displacement even then no work is done when displaced either force is zero or displacement is zero suppose body is taking rotation in a circle path body is rotating in a circular path like this So it starts here. It take a turn and come back again. It starts here. Take a turn. And come back. Displacement is always zero. Whatever the force. What force? Later cases. अभी बात नहीं करते हैं उसकी. But body का displacement कितना है हर बार? Zero है. Work done is F into zero. Work done is also zero. So whenever 
body is rotating, uh, uh, taking a turn, taking a circle. Work done is always equal to zero. I hope you understand it, everyone. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. So the next next case. Next case. Displacement is normal to the direction of force. Normal means perpendicular. Normal means angle is 90 degree. I told you earlier also this. Normal means angle is 90 degree. Right? So whenever displacement is normal to the direction of force, theta equal to 90, then cos 90 is 0, then work done is 0. Although body is being displaced, it is a second example when they ask you that although body is showing displacement, there is no work done by the force. Give the example. So what is the first example? Body is moving in a circular path. First example. And what is the second example? That body is moving in a direction normal to the direction of the force. When angle is 90 between force and displacement, work done is always zero. Understand? So look at this. So look at this. Here, a body is, suppose Kuli is having a load. Now look at this person. Okay. Carrying a load in his hand. Carrying a force in his hand <coughs> and, and displacement is in this direction. Now, can you, now you see very carefully, this is the force. This is the displacement. Angle is how much? 90 degree. Mm -hmm. Angle is how much? 90. 90 degrees. So if I calculate the work done here, so W equals to F into S into cos 90. Cos 90 gives us zero. That makes W equal to F into S. So interesting point is that if a pulley is moving like this, carrying a load on his head, is applying the force in the upward direction while he's moving like this. So force applied is always perpendicular to the direction of displacement. And so theoretically, in the language of physics, in the eyes of physics, is not doing any work. Wo kuch bhi kaam nahi kar raha hota hai. जब वो लोड को अपने हेड पे रखकर ग्राउंड पर आगे वॉक कर रहा होता है, he is not doing any work because the angle between the movement and the force applied becomes zero. Ah, uh, sorry, becomes ninety and cos ninety makes everything zero. Because cos ninety तो खुद ही zero होता है. So although आपको लगेगा कि पुलिस is moving, he is carrying a load on his head. He's having all, he's doing all the hard work, but, but theoretically, we should not consider it as force. So there is no force being done whenever police is carrying a load on his head because, because in this condition, in this condition, the angle between the displacement, when a pulley walks on our ground, while carrying a load on his head, no work is done against a force of gravity because displacement of load is normal to the direction of force of gravity is vertically downward. So this is a pulley. I again show you the previous diagram. Yeah, look at it again. Look at this again. So you, you can see the angle is 90 degree. 
this is the force this is displacement and you can see that although the man is carrying a load in his hands and he is busy is having he is applying all the work but theoretically there is no work done theoretically there is no work done work done is zero fine is example of body being displaced but no work is done i hope you are clear to this why all, all of you so i give you one more yes. i give you one more example when we say that body is not doing any work although it is rotating in a circular path so body is rotating in a circular path but it is not it is not having any work done why when body rotates in circular path there is always a centripetal force acting towards the center of the circular path this we have read before so this is the force which keeps the body into motion uh, so this is the direction of motion or displacement and this is the force acting towards the center they are always they are this is the tangent and this is radius so so you see how much it is being moved whatever is happening there is no work done because the force and displacement are at right angle to each other circular path the kinetic energy and hence the speed of body does not change although a force acts on the body condition for work done to be forced to be zero so there are two cases when work done can be zero first one there is no displacement and second one displacement is normal to the direction of force that is either the body is in circular path or a pulley is carrying a load on his head such that angle between the displacement and the force is 90 degree i hope you understand that point so i take one more point quickly now i simply take example you are riding a scooter so you are riding a scooter direction of motion direction of force you have to you have to stop the motion of the object ye aapke motion ki direction hai aapko scooter ko rokna hai what we do we apply brakes what does brakes do they stop the motion they apply force in the opposite direction of the motion brakes hamesha opposite direction mein force lagate hain to jab kabhi bhi koi cheez rokni hoti hai you hold a ball in your hand ab ball ke motion ke opposite direction mein ball ko rok lete hain isn't it आप आगे से आगे से पुश करते हैं और चलती भी चलती भी कार को कार को रोकने के लिए अब आगे से बॉल को कैच करते हैं आप हमेशा किसी ऑब्जेक्ट को रोकने के लिए उसके मोशन के अगेंस्ट फोर्स लगाते हैं तो ये डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन है और ये डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स है एंगल बिकम्स 180 डिग्री angle becomes 180 degree so third case is then when displacement is in the direction opposite to the force ye body displace kar rahi hai bhai aur ye humne us pe force lagaya ye ball move kar rahi hai humne usko yahan se catch karna hai to humko iske opposite force lagana padega ball hamare paas upar se aa rahi hai उस पर डाउनवर्ड डिस्प्लेसमेंट हो रहा है मैंने बॉडी को कैच कर दिया क्या हुआ बच्चों यहां पर बताइए क्या हुआ यहां पर कुल मिलाकर आपने डिस्प्लेसमेंट की डायरेक्शन के ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में फोर्स लगाया इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वेन एवर द फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट आर इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन Angle is taken to be one eighty degree. 
angle to be how much 180 degree and remember and remember cos 180 ki value minus 1 hoti hai uski value minus 1 hoti hai so work done ki jo value aati hai w equals to f into s cos 180 so w equals to fs into minus 1 You got W equal to minus F S, or there is a negative work done. So now understand. Whenever book will be over, whenever whenever force is. in the opposite direction of the displacement negative work is being done is done by the force applied right understood or increase kariye when the second point i'm telling you when angle is obtuse work done because and obtuse kiske beech mein force or displacement ke beech mein of course work done becomes negative work done becomes negative applied force applied force tends to stop the motion of the object the applied force tends to stop the motion of the object body tends to stop After that, I hope I am clear to you all about this. So this is how the directions and displacements are off. So you apply brakes, you stop the ball. Ball is rolling on the ground and it stops on its own. How come it stops? The force of friction. I've answered the problem. By friction. For example, for example, for example. force of friction always do always does negative work it always work against the motion it always stops the moving body so for friction to hamesha moving body ko rok kar rokta hi hai ye hamesha usko rokne ki tendency rakhta hai ये कभी भी उसको पुश नहीं करता कि बॉडी की स्पीड बढ़ा देगा फ्रिक्शन तो हमेशा रोकेगा देखिए जरा अ मैन इज फ्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑन अ मूविंग ट्रेन इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन इट इज डूइंग नेगेटिव वर्क डन अंडरस्टूड सो व्हेन ड्राइवर अप्लाइज ब्रेक्स ऑन द ट्रेन द ब्रेक्स कॉजेस अ अपोजिट अ फोर्स व्हिच डज द नेगेटिव वर्क डन आई होप आई एम क्लियर टू यू ऑल बॉयज एवरीवन Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is a force here, an angle. You can see angle is acute angle is there. So, this is one component. This is other component. This is the horizontal component. We call it as it is F cos phi. The angle is phi. Work done is F S cos phi. All right. You can see here, work done. An angle is obtuse between 90 and 180. Work done is negative. When angle is 90 between the force and displacement, work is zero. ठीक है, work is zero.
So one more point I will take today, then I will take it tomorrow further. Work done by the force of gravity. So what do we mean by work done by the force of gravity and what is that? Now, whenever bodies are rolling on the ground, we are, we are throwing an object, we are kicking a ball, cycle is moving on the ground, car is running on the ground, we are riding a, riding a scooter, in all these aspects, there is no, you know, a body is in a rectilinear motion. When, when the object is thrown vertically up and down, object is thrown vertically up and down, the gravity comes into play. Gravity comes into role. Gravity apna kaam karna shuru kar deti hai. Understand? So, what does the gravity do? Because the force is being applied by the gravity now. And one more thing, the force of gravity always acts in the vertical downward position. Whatever ball is going up, ball is going down, is heavier, is smaller, wherever. Force of gravity always works in the downward direction. Force of gravity ki AP direction hoti. Konsi downward. So body of mass M be moved by down through the vertical height H. If they're directly or through an inclined plane, the force of gravity on the body is F equals to mg acting vertically downward and the vertical displacement in the direction of force is height. Therefore, work done is displacement into force, uh, work force into displacement. Force is equals to weight of the body that is mg into H. So whenever bodies are going up and down, they are going up or going coming down, the force applied is always mgh. Here, what is mg and what is h? h is the displacement. What is mg here? Force applied. Force equals to weight of the object. Kisi bhi falling body ke upar, jo gravity ka force hota hai, wo uske apne weight ke barabar hota hai. Earth us object par utna hi weight lagati hai, jitna uska weight. Or you can say, jitna force lagta hai gravity ka, utna is body ka weight ho jata hai. So falling bodies mein hum force ko mg baante hai, displacement h hota hai, our work done is mg into h. All right, everyone. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. So, a body of mass M goes up through a vertical height. And when body is when body is going in the upward direction, the force of gravity tries to stop the moving ball body, and the work done becomes negative. The work is negative minus mgs is done by the force of gravity on the body. Right? The work W equals to mgh is done by the body against the force of gravity. I'll take it tomorrow again. I don't want to uh, fill you up with all these in a single day. It's more than enough for you guys. So, so work me, done by the force of gravity is seen whether the body comes down from now. One more thing. There's a question asked on the board. So guys can answer. Now Apo is height for Panchman. Third floor, hai, fifth floor, hai, and the floors are one, two, three, four, five, six. Or, yes, steps are made, but the punch is One, two, three, yes, steps are made. You take the steps to reach here, or you rise up like this, or you rise through an escalator. Or you use an elevator lift, or you move ahead by you rise rise up through a rope, or you take the stairs, walk over the stairs, or you take a lift. Who will do more work? Who will do more work or less work in this case? Think and give me the answer. Give me two minutes for this question. I'm quiet for that time. Think.
both of them are doing the same work both the people are doing the same amount of work because ultimately they are they are achieving same amount of height so you go to your go to your room at the third floor using a staircase you go in the mall and stand on escalators and you rise up to the stairs or you take a lift to that third floor does not make any difference you all are doing same work because work is done against the gravity and when you raise the same height the work done is not different it is not but it is not uh, you know the path you follow to reach that height does not have any role to play into it the only thing important is that how, that how much height you have acquired aap kitni height par pahunch gaye hain ye zyada important hota hai force of gravity forces of gravity is a conservative force they do not follow they do not consider the the path in between whatever the path you may follow same amount of work is done understood everyone right yes sir units of work yes, work yes, is seen as that of yes. energy so work is force into displacement if one newton work If one newton force is applied to displace a body by one newton of its own direction, the work done is said to be one joules. Work is said to be done when a force of one newton displaces a body through a distance of one meter in its own direction. Hindi में समझिए एक न्यूटन का फोर्स लगाया और उसने बॉडी को एक मीटर डिस्प्लेस किया. One joule का work done हो गया. Kilojoules, megajoules, gigajoules, ten part three, ten part six, ten part nine, right? CGS unit is ergs. So one ergs in CGS unit, force is measured in dynes and distance in centimeter. So one joules was one newton into one meter or one newton meter. So one ergs is one dyne centimeter. So one erg of work is said to be done when a force of one dyne moves the body by a distance of 1 cm in its own direction how can we relate these two joules and hours so 1 joules is equals to 1 newton into 1 meter we convert 1 newton into dynes and we know this from the first chapter that 1 newton is equals to 1 newton is equals to 10 to the power 5 dynes And one meter is ten square centimeters. So we multiply ten power five or ten power two gives you ten power seven ergs. So one joule is equal to ten power seven ergs. All right. I'm stopping it here today. Now your duty is that you must read the chapter again and again and take out the doubts you have. whatever you might be having in this chapter i'm not giving you any homework today just go through the chapter again i will ask you any one point question from you guys tomorrow okay so till this i will take up two three pages every day i will not haste through it so tomorrow i will there's a question question for you session or keep on asking you questions out of this these three four pages we have done today because i have discussed with you the crux of this first part of the chapter fine anyone have any doubt in their mind right now we have got one last three minutes then you can ask me a short doubt if you have so the example that kuli when you have given 
in that example i want to know that sir there is displacement but why there is no work done because direction because pulley is moving in this direction load is moving in this direction on the head ye pulley ka head hai aur ye pulley ke feet se load is moving like this but the force is downward because force mg or told you force of gravity always acts downward load is moving like this angle is 90 work done equals to fs cos 90 no work is done in this case understood anybody else one last question one last question no no subscribe the page or youtube channel of the of coaching i will post this video on the channel today i mean after some time understand so note down this search mm -hmm. on youtube this channel aapko coaching ka channel mil jayega subscribe kar lijiyega usko i will try to put the video of this entire chapter every day on that so that you may again go through it in the evening at your home and you can clear a doubts all right everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir right i hope you enjoyed this chapter till now yes sir yes sir yes sir fine bye see you tomorrow Thank you, Thank, you, Thank you sir. 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 Thank you sir.